So, so tell me what Seinfeld characters that you think we all are. This I've will be very evolved. interesting before I've we start evolved. the show. I started off, off slightly Georgish. Yeah. And I did the sort of like the bizarro world. I went the counterintuitive to see if mm-hmm. I do everything the opposite of what I would normally do, will my life change? And believe me, it works. It does really? work. It doesn't okay. it doesn't necessarily work for the better. But if you go <laughs> against your if you go against the pattern of what you're doing, people look at you in a weird way. And, what, what? Okay. But I have come to realize that I am Newman. The fifth really? character. I'm a Newman. I'm I'm absolutely because Newman is devilishly evil okay. in, 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 a, in a harmless kind of way. If you know what I mean, he, he's sort of like, mm-hmm. uh, he's the postman that never delivers the mail. He's the one who's right, right, scheming right. and planning right. and and uh, he loves food. I love food. I haven't got to the Newman size yet, but I think I'm Newman. Yeah. Uh, I, would like, <laughs> I would like to be Kramer, but I'm not a Kramer character. Yeah. Stephen, okay. I think you're a Jerry. Yes. You're a Jerry. Really? I I'm, a, a, I'm a Nazi? Why am I a Nazi? Jerry <laughs> as a Jerry Seinfeld. You are Oh, oh I, I'm like, why am I a Nazi all of a sudden? I, I'm a Jew. I can't be a Nazi. Okay. I'm a, I'm a Jerry Seinfeld. Really? How am I, I Jerry think Seinfeld? you are a Jerry Seinfeld because you're, okay. you're basically the anchor around which the show works. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's let's show off the. Uh, yeah, we haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> we haven't gotten that far yet. We haven't even started the show. We're just uh, live. We're going to start the show in a couple of minutes. So uh, we're talking about Seinfeld first. Okay. So I'm Jerry Seinfeld because I anchor the show. You're Newman. I can no, kind of see no, that. And you, what's, no, what's... you're not Jerry Seinfeld just because you anchor the show. Oh, okay. Have, I'm good looking. You have a Jerry yeah. Seinfeld kind of calm, rational. Mm demeanor yet you okay. see the sort of the amusing side of life is in the stream okay. with audio only so i can't look i have to eliminate you're not kramer you're not crazy okay if anything yeah. I, if anything you're kramer and newman yeah and because no, and george <laughs> no i i was a george i right. was a george i've evolved into newman and, okay. and, and I I, like i'm very that. comfortable i'm very comfortable in the newman place I'm very gotcha. comfortable in a human place. But I want to ask you a question. What's your favorite Seinfeld episode and your favorite Seinfeld moment? We did this with Bond like months and months yeah. ago. We should really we do a Seinfeld one. I'm obsessed with Seinfeld. Well, apparently we're going to do that now. So you know what? Before we get into our favorite Seinfeld, let's do this for the fans that are watching. This is 2OF Entertainment. The Habanos Cigars Dinner and Drink Show, exclusively on 2OF Entertainment, with over 100,000 YouTube subscribers and rapidly growing to be the most watched and podcast cigar show broadcast globally. The Habanos Cigars Dinner and Drink Show, exclusively on 2OF Entertainment. Very nice. Okay. And we have somebody from Pakistan. And someone from Pakistan is saying hello to us. So hello from Pakistan. We hope you enjoy the show. Please tell your friends. And if you don't tell your friends, uh, go tell your neighbor. So there you go. Usman's having problems again with the Pakistani government. So if this guy watching from Pakistan can take care of that, that would be great. No, but he's there. He's there, but he's in darkness. I've, oh, there. He's, uh, there he's gone again. My favorite new, my favorite episode so that I liked on Seinfeld was when, what you said, when George did everything opposite and became yeah. like a fan. And the other part of it that I liked is when he had the pillow under his desk. When he slept not, under not his desk. Pillow, not just a pillow. He got a carpenter to come and make yeah. him a sort of a, uh, a secret hiding place under that desk. Mm-hmm. That was a fantastic. You see, though, you see, that's really cool. Those are the I don't necessarily remember all the episodes, but I remember the Seinfeld moments and yeah. uh, like Kramer running in with the lobsters that he just pulled out of the sea. Yes. Which I saw the other day. And, and, and that stupid lobster shirt that he's got. I would love to get that lobster shirt, yeah. by the way. That that's um, but um, Seinfeld really uh, and on the cigars, by the way, since we tied this in with cigars, Kramer yeah, and Kramer. the Cuban cigar, emb- uh, the Cuban cigars from the embassy. That was a cool yes. episode. Usman looks a bit uh, out there. I don't think Usman's a Seinfeld fan. Well, we have a fan that says he has two friends I that are not. here. Usman and Riza. He knows. Apparently, the gentleman watching knows you both or he's I, stalking I'm, you. I'm, I'm not sure. But hello to him. him. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so am I. Name. 
What's his name? Um, Thank you very much. Who's whoever that person is? Yes, he knows him apparently. So he apparently likes you two, not me. So because I'm a Jew and he likes the Pakistanis. It's okay. We're a friendly show. But before we go further into the Seinfeld, just to let it why <laughs> just to let everybody know, I am smoking a Davidoff late evening Winston Churchill. So everybody's aware of what I'm smoking today. In the morning. There you go. You're smoking a late evening, a late hour in the morning. Yes. yes. And somebody, and somebody morning. else from Pakistan just said, look at yes. the dapper dudes. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that. We like to be dapper. The, I'm wearing the, my uh, dappers, these, too. The, these two. These two. The one down mm-hmm. there and the one over mm-hmm. there. This one is just slumming it. Yes. But we love you anyway that you're Hello, slumming Hello. Salam so to everyone in Pakistan. There you go. And you gotta, uh, you gotta be uh, I do, I do all the different welcomes in all the different languages. That's, that's nice. That's so... All right. So tell us more. So the Seinfeld, I like the Seinfeld stuff, just so we're clear. Um, I, I didn't like the ending of the Seinfeld show. It was amazing. Um, I thought That's the, the way it should end. Yeah, I, I thought the, I know it did. Eh, I thought it should be a better ending than that. It's kind of like when MASH ended. I wasn't impressed with the ending. I wanted a better ending. I never watched MASH. Oh, okay. I, I had some potatoes yesterday, so I, I, I see it all the time. Um, but, yeah, I, en- I enjoyed that. But, yeah, so it's good. All right, enough about that. What are you smoking, gentlemen? Because nobody cares about my Davidoff. Let me see what uh, we have here for our fans. I have got oh, – apparently it's called Trinidad mm. Fridays. Osman, mm. do you concur? Yes, Trinidad I just Fridays? Saw, I, I just saw someone saying Trinidad Fridays, so yes. So that's uh, the half moon, the media lunar. Uh, uh-huh. Let me cut it. It's got a ponytail. Uh, I don't know, Stephen. Can you see? There's a ponytail it behind it. I see the ponytail. Yes, it is. There we go. There we go. Apparently, you could. So, Smart says you could just rip that off and smoke the cigar. But I. I he's uh, a savage. He's a savage. That's why he does he's that. A he's a savage. Gonna... Savage. Uh, let me cut that one. And light and up. Lizman, what are you smoking, us? Uh, we smoking, our friend. What do you have today? Okay, so I am smoking. Uh... Kyodorse 52. Okay. <clears throat> uh, it is it is a Robusto Extra in the factory languages or, or the normal languages. It's the it's practically the newest of the Kyodorse's regular production lines, which is generally Kyodorse 50, 54, Corona Claro. And now, uh, well, this is not now the latest. The latest is supposed to be uh, the special Diorce, but the problem is that is still not released. Uh, right. Just launched. Hence, this is the latest release cigar for now. Uh, 52 ring gauge and uh, something which I've, I've really started to like, uh, given the fact that I, I am more of a fan on the thinner ring gauges. So 52 is like my upper limit, unless there are some certain very special cigars that I would like to go on for a bigger ring gauge. And I am going to use my favorite um, Mont Blanc scissors to do the honors. Use us. Wow. Mm-hmm. All these free plugs. And by the way, someone just asked where my 16-year-old is. Um, I would just like to mention it was an 18-year-old that I just drank oh. um, from, the, from the Japanese maker Suntory. And I, I, the Centauri ah. and the Callan are my two favorites. Um, so right. just to let everybody know, I just had my Centauri at eight, eight, at eight o'clock in the morning here in America, which is a beauty. Um, we do this almost just, every week. It's Centauri time. I do this, Hashtag I just, Centauri time. Yeah. The Centauri time, right? Just so we're clear, I do this every day um, with or without you guys. So I'm okay <laughs> either way. So, so and it's been, everyone's thanking you for giving the knowledge. So, I thought we'd start off today before we go into um, whatever the show is going to end up being about. I thought it'd be interesting to talk about sizes of cigars because, mm-hmm. you know, you have mm-hmm. the Petite, you have Robustos, you have the Toros, you have Churchill's. And I think people think the size of cigars matters. And I think there's some um, there's some myths to that. So I figure our, our Salmon A, as he's doing the proper way to light a cigar, um, if you would like to discuss that, we will give you the stage, my friend. Can I ask you a question, Usman? Are you using yes. archivist matches to light up? I I am certainly using the archivist matches to light up. And since it is a French cigar or a, or a Cuban cigar made for the French market, I will It'll show say. you the. I will just show you the matchbox that I have pulled out 
to light this cigar up once I am actually very uh, pretty matchboxes. Those, by the way, very pretty. They boxes. are. They are. It's like I, collecting postcards. Yep. Absolutely. I have absolutely. the red one that you guys keep showing me. I have that one from the Jazz Club in London. Is that the one with the sort of yellow cigar on it? Mm-hmm. Yes, I think so. I was going to take a picture of mine, but then I got yeah. tied up, and she was no, lovely, no, no, no. and she just untied me. Oh, there we so. go. Oh, no. Right. So this is. The I one thought you were going to say she just unlocked you. So are, <laughs> different, that's Paris a different one. This is Paris at mm. night. So since it, it it's a French uh, inspired cigar, so I thought, why not? Now moving Very on nice. to the question. Mm. That okay, let him enjoy. Amazing, amazing. I hope you're enjoying yourself. So, so the, I, I think am. the question is, like I said, I, a lot of people I'll meet and they're like, "Oh, um, a robusto is is more powerful than a Churchill, and a Churchill is better than a double Toro, and the petites mm-hmm. and the." De-. And I said, you know, we have a Samane, and he knows mm-hmm. more than uh, most. Let him mm-hmm. tell us about the sizes. So does, uh, does cigar size matter? Not to size matter, uh, women. Calm down. Well, We're talking <laughs> about cigars here. So, Well, uh, just to answer the question, yes, the size does matter. Uh, okay. You can take it in whatever, whatever sense that you want to take it. And for this discussion and illustration, what I've done is I was fortunate enough to pull out a box of this EGM's tasting box. So this is oh, this wow. is this is so this is this is their debut collection tasting box. I mean, uh, okay. and what and and uh, last week's episode where Christian at Tom Tom was smoking a diadema from AGM, I thought why not take this out? And why I've taken this out is specifically to show you the fact that if you are able to see, you would be. S- Okay, now can you see there are wow. different sizes of yes. cigars? And actually, we have a close up of you. That's all we yes. can see. Yeah. All I so, can see is one of those cigars has died. No, actually, two. Two of them, two of two them, of them are gone, gone, my friend. Smoked. Two of them have actually been smoked, and that's why their places are empty. Now, can you see there are different sizes? And the fun part is this is purely dependent on. What is the amount of time that you have and you want to smoke a cigar? The okay. first uh, missing cigar in this one is a Media Corona, which is uh, in H. Upman's category, a half Corona, or, or, or in Monte Cristo's is also a Media Corona and all of that. So these are like cigars which you need for 10, 15, 20 minutes time. Uh, you have very less time and you want to just get over with, but you want to have that kick. So you go for a very small, short 15 minutes smoke. Um, similarly, you have some more time, uh, half hour. So you go into more of the Petty Coronas or 40 minutes Petty Coronas, which is, which is uh, that's going to satisfy you or, or keep you uh, busy for that 30 to 40 minutes. A Robusto is generally considered to be 40 to 60 minutes, depending on how you smoke. Again, all of these timings are relative, dependent on uh, how fast you smoke, how uh, how how, how uh, many puffs you take in a minute and all that stuff and accordingly. Similarly, the sizes uh, go and become bigger up to uh, Churchill or a double Corona, or even a Grand Corona, which in Bano's portfolio now is the only one left as a Monte Cristo A, uh, which I have had most of, I mean, both the times I've had it when Raza was over in Pakistan. So uh, knowing that, this is this is about how the sizes vary in terms of the timings, but also this is dependent on what is the time of the day when you're going to have a cigar. For example, uh, in the mornings or uh, in the afternoons in the, with the coffee or something like that, you prefer having a lighter cigar. And another quality of being a lighter cigar is it also supposed to be a slightly shorter cigar. So sometimes there are cigars which are shorter, smaller, and for lesser timing, as well as they are for the day timings or the afternoons and all of that stuff. However, Robustos, uh, Lanceros, uh, Churchill's, Double Coronas, or bigger cigars or Robusto Extras 
are ideally considered to be for a longer time and most of the cases people prefer them after their dinner or the evening meal uh, so to speak yes there are exceptions to anything and everything for example if you're in havana or if you're in in a beautiful country which produces cigars and you're enjoying a whole uh, i mean uh, fan following or or let's say camaraderie of fellow aficionados on a festival or there's an event in which you are there i mean th- these things can differentiate like uh, but the general rule of thumb is shorter smokes in the morning moving on to slightly uh, bigger smokes in the afternoon to uh, the full length smokes in the evening or night and that's that's what i also follow uh, and this varies again as i said from person to person but this is this is general rule of thumb which we use for the same thing Let me ask you this question. Basically, basically, by looking at what someone is smoking, you can gauge how ambitious they were in terms of the amount of time they thought they had. You can work it out. Yes, yes, especially uh, if you look at Doc today. So Stephen is having a late night Churchill uh, at nine in the clock, nine or ten in the morning in the US, (laughs) (laughs) and and that too. uh, If I'm not wrong, it's it's at least a robusto size. So what he's smoking. So no, yeah. but this also reflects Stephen's state of mind. He's in relaxed mode because this is one of his favorite shows. He's yes. going to carry on, and when this show is over, we're going to go into the green room and carry on chatting like <laughs> the friends that we are, which <laughs> I which so I true. skip out of. But yeah, yeah, yes, you can see you can see where the mind yeah. is invested. That's yeah. what you can see. Yeah. That's a it's exactly true. I I I I know that if I get a text in the morning that says, "Hey." We all have to jump off after because everyone has to run to a meeting. If you notice, I smoke a little baby, whatever. That's 30 minutes. If I know that we're going to have a dialogue after, I have enough for the show and I have enough for the dialogue after, like we're at a cigar lounge. So, yes, I do. By the way, I gave by the way Usman, yeah. will tell me, Usman will tell me that this particular cigar that I'm smoking might be a little bit of the exception to the rule. I've smoked this before. It's Media Luna. Uh, Usman, this is uh, Robusto size, would you say? Um, yeah, kind of. It's it's not exactly fifty, but yeah. It's not exactly, but this one smokes much faster than most cigars. It's very very smooth cigar. The chances are I will be at wit's end on this cigar before the end of the show. Whereas robusto size would have carried me. That happens. That happens every show. In almost every show, that's okay. Uh, Yeah, and and you're gonna put it. You'll put a little toothpick in it. Yeah, he does. He puts a little toothpick in it, and he'll start smoking it like Castro by the end of the show. Raza, no, yeah. Raza, with this, you, you've actually asked a very interesting question, and I'm going to just Thank try... Thank you. Say that one more time. That was quite nice, Louise. Say it one more time. <laughs> oh, you, you, you've... You said you asked an interesting asked question. An oh, there we go. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, we have so, to stroke so his ego. He said, is the host. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> why I said <laughs> it is an interesting question is that the cigars with slightly thicker ringage, despite the fact right. that Cuba packs them very tightly have a much better flow and combustion. So which is why it right. happens like that. However, when you're smoking a slightly thinner ringage cigar, mm-hmm. you have to actually uh, inhale and puff on it a little more to ensure that you get the amount of smoke. It's not absolutely always the case, but sometimes it is. And that is why in most of the cases, the thinner cigars are, uh, are like this. Also, in the recent times, I've also figured out that the thinner cigars have been a little bit more plugged, or at least on this part yes. of the world when we've gotten, uh, and, and I knew I knew why, why you asked this question, why you said, so for that, uh, what to do when the cigar is plugged and the combustion is not happening, there's this very interesting tool by the Perfect Solutions uh, people by the name of Perfect Draw. So this is this is a very very handy tool. I I must say all it, the cigar aficionados looks like have a, it. it looks like an HB pencil. It's a pencil. I think it's a pencil. Kinda kinda. So if you unscrew it, you would see it has it has grooves ah, on the oh, wow. end of it end of it. And in case you're feeling difficulty with smoking of your cigar or it's plugged, you feel it. It's tight on draw. So the thing that you need to do is you just need to insert at the 
head off or you know it's the cap that you've taken it off insert it and just continue to screw it uh till the end or till the time you actually feel there is some resistance for this to go in and once you've figured that out just go a little bit further down then and then just straight away pull it out and that should take out any knot that is uh holding mm. back the combustion and the flow and your cigar wow. should smoke uh, perfectly fine you might have to do it a couple of times uh if it is not done once or properly and and once you start using it it takes a couple of time to practice to be able to but i think this is one of the very good inventions uh being done by the perfect solutions people on coming yes. up with this uh, red dot awarded tool uh, for cigar smokers well shout out to perfect thank solutions and thank you and i'm glad you mentioned it was for cigars because i got confused um but thank it's you sort of, a, <laughs> so. sort of an assassination <laughs> weapon as well I was thinking something totally different because he kept, you stick it in, you pull it out, you stick it in, you pull it out. I was like, this is a different show. I wasn't sure. Yeah, I wasn't sure what show we were going to, but all right, I understand. Family show, family show, calm down. Family Family show, show. that's right. No blue, no blue. So I know I kept everything clean. On this show, I keep everything, this is one of the only shows that is like our cleanest show and we smoke cigars and drink scotch. Who knew? You absolutely fucking hell, you do keep it clean. (laughs) Yes, we do. There's, we don't use any bad words on the show, <laughs> apparently. Um, so now we've discussed. So what's our topic we, today, we, gentlemen? We have, we, we have Raza here. We, we well, have Raza well, 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 well. The topic, the topic today is oh, very, is it, very is easy. Is it Seinfeld? Oh, no, no, no. The topic, the oh, topic is ridiculously easy because we started last week. If you remember, Steve and I, we mm-hmm. were doing cigar stories. And Us- <laughs> Usman had basically a UFO flying overhead and his Wi-Fi got Apparently. Down. Yes. Right. Oh, so yes. it would oh, be yes. quite nice, almost like a part yes. two, almost like an extended Seinfeld yeah. episode in part two, yeah. for Usman to finally have his say on his oh, favorite yes. cigar story. I think that would be a, yes. a very nice, yes. yeah, stretch okay. out. Fine. Go on. Got it. Okay. Right. So, uh, well, there are a lot of fun cigar stories, and there are a lot of cigar stories that have gotten me into it. I think. Um, I've already shared how I got into cigars a few episodes back and, and one of those evenings yes. when I went to James J. Fox. So I'll, I'll park that on a side because it's done. I have a very, very interesting uh, story and the, well, technically two stories. And one of the story credit goes to uh, the gentleman sitting on the right side of my screen, which is Raza. Uh, one, so, so Raza and I connected to each other uh, because of cigars via Instagram. That's that's basically our introduction. And one uh, fine evening, before Raza and I had actually met, I was contacted by a gentleman who now lives in Bahrain. And he said, I was c- c- talking to a gentleman in the UK. He's originally a Pakistani and all that stuff. So uh, I, I asked him that I am in Pakistan. Where can I get some cigars? And I was like, okay. Uh, I was like, are you in Pakistan? He told me, yes, he was. He was He was a Bahraini training in one of our uh, military academies based in Quetta. And <clears throat> I said, sure, not a problem. I'll help you out. And when I spoke to him, I was like, you can get cigars from here, here. Now, given the fact that he was not a Pakistani, he did, and he was on a training here for a few months, he could not officially get a bank account uh, in the country. Oh, wow as he was just on a visiting status and that too on a military uh, attachment. So there was no possibility for him to send the money that day. It was, I remember it was distinctly, it was a weekend. I said, don't worry, we'll figure something out. We, we chatted a little bit and all that stuff. So I went to one of those cigar stores close by me, selected a few cigars for him. I asked him, are you okay with this and this and that stuff? If I'm not wrong, the cigars at that time would have costed somewhere around uh, five, oh shit. Five hundred dollars or something, and okay. uh, and this is like twenty twenty two start, and uh, he said, uh, uh, "Well, I didn't know the guy and all that stuff." And the person he said, uh, "Would it be okay if I send you the money on Monday and you can send me those then?" I was like, "Sure, not a problem." In any case, those yeah. were the cigars which I would have smoked any. So I was like, "Whatever, I will just take them home and we'll figure it out." 
and then uh, and, and and the core reason for this was that he was not able to transfer money to me or send somewhere and pakistan is still not on those uh, advanced things where you can send just send a link and someone can pay through their card or something like that so i right. was like <clears throat> uh that's not a problem we'll, we'll figure that out i was going on my way back home and i saw a courier company and i said why the hell am i just waiting it's okay i mean he's a guest to the country he's here he's told who he is he's... it will come so what i did was i sent him the money and oh sorry send him the cigars and on monday uh well, he received the cigars before he could have even sent the money because his classes finished somewhere in the afternoon and he asked one mm-hmm. of his aides from the pakistani military to transfer the money to me and all that and i think from there the friendship started he was here for like good 6 months we would talk to each other after a few days share on cigars he went back in march or april 2022 and that was the year when kohiba was launching its 55th anniversary <clears throat> oh wow uh, victoria luckily i got to know that the event is happening in bahrain also and i in time was able to get uh, a ticket for myself and guess what the first thing i did after making the purchase of the ticket was i sent him a message buddy you did not come to visit me i am coming to see you and the uh-huh. immediate reaction and immediate reaction and, and because of his assignment he was not able to travel to this side of the country at that time sorry i missed yeah. so so the first response he said was no hello no hi kohiba 55 and i was like yes because he understood the core reason i would be flying into bahrain would be the event right. which was coming up i went well fast forward i went in july and i kid you not from me landing at bahrain airport till the time after 3 days i was getting on a plane on bahrain airport that friend of mine was kind of my friend my buddy to show me around my chauffeur uh taking me around making me meet people and that was a wonderful wonderful memory that has now become as 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 one of those things where we talk like friends and brothers and it's it's like a connection in bahrain because of that i met a few people there uh there is there is a very uh, good friend of mine adib who now lives in dubai i had okay. only contacted him via internet on instagram we would repost each other's stories and all and i and exactly in that event while i was i got up for something i don't know and there was somebody who said usman and i was like who is this gentleman who's uh, taking my name <laughs> so i looked at him and i was like uh i was like lost and he said adib i was like okay because he had never mentioned his name on his instagram oh. and then he shared his handle and i was like oh yes and then there was a hug similarly right, right. so while while we were doing across the table was another gentleman sitting uh who makes some amazing amazing ashtrays and cigar stands as a hobby because he, he himself works as a very senior uh professional for the bank of kuwait uh okay. 965 so khaled and so we connected another friend of mine uh moving on which is again going to join back in the same story is now uh, raza knows the gentleman asad um he's like an elder brother to me lives in oman has a bit like me oman a bit like me like i'm like an elder brother to you <laughs> more like a grandfather since like when? yeah go ahead since when <laughs> since when yeah since, since when <laughs> sorry you you do not qualify to be in that category ever okay <laughs> right so 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 somebody writes to me a little bit before e the couple of years ago in 2022 saying oh where can i find cigars in lahore and i was like this guy has a handle saying oman cigar club why is he asking i was like are you in lahore he said yes i am so i was like oh i did not know that you would be visiting or something you would have told me uh, but anyways cigars are found here and i sent him my address and he initially did not understand but then he said is this in this a residential address i was like yes he was like no i actually want to buy i was like yes you surely can buy but now that you're here and you're a guest in lahore just come over we'll meet up for cigars let me know we'll meet up 
anyways during that conversation he said i will but tell me about where can i find i told him and then that day we were continuing to like okay meet up meet up meet up so the meet up which was planned initially for 8 pm he coming to my home sending me a message i've got run into late into a meeting 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock at 12 we said oh actually i think it is too late i've just gotten free i was like that's perfectly fine i'm awake and this is ramadan so i'm going to sleep right. like after my uh, uh keeping of the fast in the morning like around 3:30 4ish so he ended up at my home at around 1 1:30 in the morning and we said oh we will have we will just have a small cigar uh, qri 50 i remember we both got up around 4:30 when the fast time started and for 3 hours we talk mutual connections and all that stuff and two months later the moment i registered myself for this kohiba 55th anniversary i also sent him a message are you coming and he was like where i was like there's an event happening in bahrain the second thing he did was all right so i'm booking a flight he booked the flight he booked the event and he was there on the event so what i'm trying to say is that because of cigars i have made so many good friends across the world that i feel privileged and blessed that yes we share this common hobby but if i see none of us have a similar profession mm-hmm. uh none of us had met each other before but whenever we've met it's felt like we've been friends for a long time and i think these yeah. friendships have really gotten into a very lifelong friendship to an extent that i will end today on my last story with someone who actually i met on instagram when i was like oh wow the gentleman has almost 100000 followers wow there are a yeah. lot of stories there are a lot of things but then i was like he doesn't look like he's 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 that serious gentleman but then his stories are like very quirky and all that stuff anyways <laughs> fast forward fast forward the gentleman in my conversation tells me that i'm originally from pakistan and i'm actually coming to islamabad now Islamabad is something which is around 400 kilometers away from me 5 hours of 5 uh, hours of drive time and this was in winters when actually uh in december january times we have this problem that the fog does not allow you to travel on the motorways probably after the sunset till the sunrise right. in the next day or or till the time there is actually like 8 or 9 in the morning and i said regardless i am going to go see him because i wasn't sure how long he is here for and said i'm just here for 3 4 5 days so yeah. took a day off drove all the way to islamabad to meet this dude which i am sharing a screen with today known as raza adil oh. and yes kind of my brother and a friend and, and more like a grandfather let's not get carried I'm, away i'm more like a ghost <laughs> i'm like a ghost that hovers and haunts you and 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 the fun memory is that first that was the first time ever not i met him and that was the first time ever i actually smoked a monte cristo a and that wow. was one of those time and that was one of that was one of a plug that was a plug cigar exactly, i remember you were like exactly exactly you so, were like and that and this is the tool which actually allowed me to continue for two two and a half hours with that like by poking and drilling because that is a bloody big cigar so even the entire perfect draw going in doesn't make any difference So so it was it was good I, I, fun that day. I personally believe that if it gets to a stage where you have to use a perfect draw it's all over just anyway. Throw it. It I, agree. Throw it. Because, I agree. Because because unless you want to do the experimentation you're sitting at home and you say damn well I'm going to damn well smoke the cigar right. It's 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 just going to ruin the cigar. You get the you know you yeah. get the little bits of leaf that you're going to be picking out of your you yeah. know your your lips and your teeth. But some people enjoy that. Some people enjoy the wrestle. It's like a sort of like wrestling with an alligator and seeing how many cuts you get, if you know what I mean. You know it's what? Like you know two... what? You know what the problem is? On one That's side, in principle, I in in principle I agree, in principle I agree with both of you on this one. That uh-huh. yeah, it should be checked out. But the fact that it is an artisanal product made with love by someone far The virgin thighs. from yeah, last well, week that's who is it. checking these products out the i i thought and, i thought and, and all and cuban cigars 
I thought all Cuban part, cigars go through this electronic draw process and this and that and the other. And da, 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 da. But why are we getting these plug cigars? Not, not the electronic. Well, not the electronic process. That's the draw checker machine. Yeah. Again, I mean, it, it, it can happen. It can also happen because of uh, the conditioning we've kept. The cigar swell. It is. That's there true. was there was by ex, yes. by accident one one by accident one stem was in it and all that stuff. The reason I wouldn't do that or I would still try to do it a couple of times is, well, I think personally, it's a crime to throw away a good cigar, especially when you can actually try and smoke it. Yeah. And no, no, no. Just gift it to a friend. Let, let them have a go. <laughs> yeah. A, a half smoked cigar <laughs> gifted to a friend. Yeah, that's they're a good friend. Yeah. If you're going to give them a half smoked cigar, that's. A, by the way, mm. Assad just wants you to know because I know you're not reading the comments. Assad said it's been a beautiful friendship since then. Just letting you know. So he, Assad he, agrees with you. He's 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 a he's a brother who's brother for life. So thank you very much, Assad, by for watching it and saying it yourself. Assad, it's uh, Assad. Is it Assad? Because yes, Assad, I was yes. smoking with in London maybe about a month ago. In, Absolutely. Uh, what is that place where I normally smoke? I forget the name. Mm. Oh, yes, Tom Tom. I Tim was Tom. smoking with us in Tom Tom. And yeah. we were great Tom. Actually, we went to upstairs at Langens as well. We were smoking there, that the private members club. Yes, but yeah. um, let uh, me pick that up for you. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, so I, I like I like in the content to have these little, you know, these little jewels of shout outs and sort of incorporate mm. them into the weave of the fabric. Yeah. If how, you know what how, I mean. How, uh, what, what what's about? I mean, how how are you gonna give a shout out to your cigar for now? Because I see it's almost gone already. You can yeah, you see how fast I smoke. Yeah. the media. You Luna. smoke those, but you smoke all your cigars. Like you literally do smoke exactly. your cigars like cigarettes. You 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 smoke Thank a forty five minute smoke in like fifteen minutes. You don't enjoy it. You inhale. Well, it. well, well, well. Can I tell you something now? Remind, on a very serious. Reminding, reminding no, on a very serious that. note. Osman, no, 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 yes, on a very, very no, no. serious note. Wait, 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 wait. Before before you go on, I have to give a shout out to another person who's like this. The gentleman who we were just referring to a little while ago, Asad Bhai, he himself is also one of those who would smoke a double corona in, let's say, 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And I'm always looking at, okay. where did the cigar go? Well, the thing is yes. this, yeah. on a very, very serious level, I'm retrohaling yeah. the cigar almost constantly. You're not really meant to do it, but I am doing it. Let me show you. Don't do it too much. So basically, you push your tongue at the top of at the at the sort of the roof of your mm -hmm. mouth and blow right. smoke out through your nose. And what you do is you taste the cigar almost in the sinus area. This is a very sensitive part here. Okay. And you get a lot of flavor out of it. And now, since I've been doing it, I really, really enjoy it. It's a very but they go quick. Though. Having said so that, having said that, Osman is very right. You're not meant to do it right. too often. Yes. And I'm going to diminish the amount. But having said that, I am smoking. Let me give a shout out to the Habanos SA people. I'm smoking a Trinidad on a Trinidad Friday. Three T's representing right. three people sitting here. A trinity of uh, uh, of uh, presenters. And yeah. uh, this one, notoriously, in a good way, does go very fast. It's very wholesome. Oh, look at that. There we go. There's the fireworks. And uh, it, it does it does go very quickly, as does another one of my favorite cigars. The, uh, the Galanes. The Galanes goes oh, really fast yes. for me. Again, and then again one more. thicker ringages, thicker ringages. Yeah, and then there's another one. The Diplomaticos number two smokes much faster than you expect it to smoke, a in my personal Cristo, humble a poor, opinion. A poor man's Monte Cristo number two. That's very kind of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, but, um, but I do enjoy it. You know, you know, sometimes you smoke with your eyes. Sometimes I look at the band and say, right, I really want to smoke yeah. this. I want to smoke this. Monte Cristo is lovely. It's all world. But then, you know, it gets a little bit tiring. I want a little bit of color in my band. I want a little bit more. You know, right. you know, when you smoke a lot of cigars, sometimes it is the band that makes you want to smoke that cigar at that particular moment. Sounds good. So Sounds I am a little idea. bit of a surface level kind of person, yeah. But it's nice to look at a, for example, the cover of a book, and then enjoy mm -hmm. the book, if you know what I mean. But this is uh, yeah. this is what I think cigars are like as well. All right, gentlemen, we have some questions. Um, I love when okay. we do live. So here's a question. I have a question for these guys. I'm assuming that would be all of us. I've just spoken to someone. Well, he doesn't want to mention a name. Pussy. No, I've just spoken to someone. <laughs> <laughs> knows well in the cigar who you know well in the cigar world 
Uh, however, he speaks bollocks. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I like the British term. We're going to speak bollocks. In my view, he says, um, when you check the draw on a cigar without even cutting it, what do you guys think? And then he says, does the light broiled cigar tend to burn quickly? Or light body okay. cigar tend to burn quickly? There, right. There are two questions, if I understand. Yes, correctly. there is. Yeah. The question number one is, can you check mm -hmm. the draw of the cigar before you cut it? Right. Correct. Uh, right. Right. <clears throat> now there are there. You can check as they said. If you are in a couple of like episodes UFO again. before this one, we were talking about how to. There you go. The aliens yep. have have. The aliens uh, came. I hate when that happens. And and, and uh, unlike most movies where it's New York or Los Angeles, this time it's happening in Lahore. Yeah. There's an alien ship parked right over yeah. Lahore. And it's sort of yeah. beaming. Look at it. Look at it. He's frozen. He's frozen. He's frozen. He's frozen. I think the aliens He's frozen are holding an imaginary cigar. That I know. He uh, and when he comes back, he will be completely unaware he won't even of know. what's happening. He just won't know. It'll be yeah. sort of like he's he got abducted. Some time. And, yeah, he got abducted and got an anal probe. When he comes back, he's gonna have a cigar. will be half done. The little green guys. Oh, he's coming back. <laughs> so we'll answer. We'll answer. That's we'll answer. A bit of a, an yeah. Hey, what do you, you think mean, about these? What do you? I, he'll be back. What do you think about it? Does a does a light body does a light um body cigar tend to burn more quickly? What do you think? Well, the problem is that because I smoke cigars so fast, you don't even I, know. I don't notice anything. I mean, I, uh, a light bodied cigar, I guess yeah. by definition. Uh -huh burns fast just by that's why it's light bodied sorry okay. uh, so it's a good job right, that sorry. we came up with the expertise whilst usman was away now sorry, usman, i can no, also no. see uh sort of add to that that mm -hmm. debate does a light no, before body you... cigar burn fast no no before i will finish the part where i was talking more about the uh, checking of the cigar before you cut it I know of sure. a uh, well. I I I am really admired. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, admir uh, inspired by a person uh, and a gentleman. Thank you. All of us Thank know you. Ajay Patel. Ajay Patel. Oh, I see. I see. So a, sh a shout out to a shout out to <laughs> AJ at number six. Cavendish. Excuse me, so, Riza. Just so, just so you know, I know you. I know Riza. You're going to find this hard to believe, and we love you, like the princess you are. <laughs> but we actually know other people. So just so you know, every Ooh. story isn't about you. <laughs> I, know, I know. I just want to make it aware. Yeah. Show. Show is the show is over. Fine. We're done. The yes. show is cancelled. Next week, there will just be a bloody blank screen up here. Blank <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Blank Reza, you are the, with, with, with you are the only like a, person. A test card. Reza yes. was here. Yeah. Okay, so Reza, let me, let me Reza, take that Reza, out. Reza, Reza was Reza, here. Reza, yeah. Reza, you're the only person we know, and we insert these fake names thank you, thank just to make it look like we have friends. Thank okay, I'm sorry. Don't Go have ahead. an ego. Please, there is no ego. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, no, no. Well, 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 what princess is has, you don't even princess, know. princess has no ego at all, everybody. We're good. All right. Let's move on. Right, okay. Yeah. So, so I've, I've, I've seen AJ introducing a way where in which you hold the cigar in a way that you blow uh, air into the foot of the cigar. And keep your finger. You you keep your finger on the head side. On your eye. Without you cutting. You keep your finger on no. your eye. Shut up. So like this. <laughs> so so without cutting it, you keep it and you blow air from it, and you right. feel a little bit of that that aeration and passing of that air and a bit of tickle on your finger. Tip. Yeah. If that happens, it means the air is passing right. I'm not sure how true that is. It's true. I've, it's right. true. I've I've done it several times. So right. So so talking so about I think cigars. We have you. Yeah. So I think we've. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we have the answer to that part. Uh, that yes, you can check right. the cigar, or or the draw, or at least have an idea, uh, before cutting it. Moving on to the second part of the question, where it was said that do the lighter cigars burn quickly yeah. was that okay. do do lighter yes. no do lighter bodied cigars uh, burn, burn faster yeah not necessarily not necessarily okay what are you talking oh. about see a polar aniaga <laughs> petit corona or a polar aniaga monte carlo or a qd50 uh, or or an a, uh, or a H up and half Corona or uh, Hoya de Monterrey uh, Petit Robusto. These are all lighter body cigars with different ringages. None of them burn that fast. 
they all burn in the way you smoke it so it is not a mm. guarantee that the lighter bodied cigar is going to burn faster or I, I, not that fast i know At how you can almost guarantee that a cigar will burn faster what you do is you throw it on a barbecue oh shit man uh, oh, it's shit. a good thing he's the host <laughs> so and he's yeah. and you're the samone so yeah thank god for that so i would love to could you imagine rizza as your samone picking a cigar listen you're gonna love this cigar see, I, but if I you want it to burn faster anger. You throw i can it. see the pent-up <laughs> anger in Osman, oh, the costume of professional oh, the sommelier yeah. Yes, uh, that's too funny. I can see. I want to when we go with Rizzo. I'm going to tell you everyone he's just dominating and ask. I'm going to say, but, please ask him how your cigar will burn quicker. By the way, 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 I want to get this one in yeah. right because yeah, Usman started out with a series of cigar stories, which, if you notice, I sat very quietly and listened to. It didn't interrupt him. Yeah, we were surprised. But I have a feeling <laughs> that Stephen has a cigar story coming up for next week. Is that right, Usman? The, I I would love to. Can you can you just see the ash on this one? We see the ash on that one. That's a beauty. And 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 see the see ash the is the size burn? of my cigar right now. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> even burn. Yeah, the Dav- The problem with the Davidoff so, so, is that the ash keeps going bye bye. But it's a great cigar anyway. No, no. Look at it. His bye-bye. ash size is outdoors. the size of the cigar You're that I have there. <clears throat> That's true. Practically, yes. Practically, yes. But Stephen, you're sitting outdoors. Yep. That might be one of the reasons it's it's going off, right? Maybe. Yeah. Because it's yeah. it's it's the what you might call it. It's the 18 year old virgins that blow it to keep what's it the hot. Temperature? Well, Stephen, what's the temperature? What's the temperature where you are? Today it's a beautiful 21 Celsius. So oh, wow. that's a, it's nice. It's very it's very nice. It's not like 30 or 35. Like it's been. It's 21 Celsius. So for everybody in America that can't do math, that's about 73, 74 Fahrenheit. So there you go. So, when, so it's a beautiful morning. Meet, no humidity. When are you meeting yeah. Kirby? When are you meeting Kirby? Uh, oh, that's what that's the cigar story. Rizzo wants that's me to exactly. tell. Exactly. So I was Kirk, trying Kirk, to be very yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. but there you go. I know. Well, let's so not be diplomatic. You're going to have a cigar next Kirby, week sitting Kirby, next to the barber. Kirby, 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 Allison, and I um, have become new best friends, thank the Usman. Um, and he asked me, when would I like to have a cigar? And I, my response was, and Usman saw this, anytime <laughs> after 1 p.m. next, anytime after 1 p.m., I'm available. But if there's scotch involved, anytime after 6 a.m. So yeah. I'm waiting for Kirby. Kirby has not responded to that one yet, but I'm assuming he will at some point because he's probably like, this guy is crazy. So I'm sure he has to mentally prepare himself because um, if he watches this and sees me, this is the person that's showing up. And he is very... <laughs> Um, and I mean that he's very dapper. He's very much a gentleman. He's very calm and cool and collective. Like he is like a very chilled personality and I'm a quadruple A personality. So this is going to be a very interesting, um, gonna, Scott, we will take pictures for Instagram. You're going to you're gonna have to mentally prepare yourself to smoke some Habanos, some Cuban cigars. Because- I'm assuming we're going to smoke Habanos. Yeah, of course. I'm going to bring scotch for him. I'm going to, I'll bring scotch for Kirby. That's my gift to Kirby. I'll bring him some scotch or some whiskey from Japan, and we will smoke cigars and scotch. And I have no idea if I'm going to a house or to a, um, a cigar lounge. Centauri, yeah, why not? We'll go Centauri. It'll be beauty. And I don't know if we're eating lunch or dinner or we're just hanging out in a sauna. I have no idea what we're doing with Kirby. So it'll be interesting. <laughs> but I will dress next week when I meet Mr. Kirby. <laughs> I will be in a suit. Sorry. But that, that's a cigar yeah. story, isn't it? That's sort of like through yeah, the cigar you world, yeah. you've met people, you're meeting people, and the, the you know, da 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 da. Yeah, it is it's it's very nice. I'm very I'm very excited about. It. Uh, I've I've watched him for years, and he literally lives like a few miles away. So, um, but Austin, as small as it is, is also a very big town. So it's not like he and I would bump into each other. So I'm very excited that we are going to actually spend an hour or two or twelve. I'm um, having cigars and yeah, and, and that explains, so I'm excited for that. That 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 explain that explains the reason he was a bit. He was like, oh, really? I was like, yes. So I was like, okay, do connect yeah. us and then we'll we'll uh, meet up. So I'm glad that it yes. worked out and you guys meet up. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm I'm hoping that we will be able to hear some interesting cigar stories once you're back. Usman, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give Usman a some. tag. Yeah. Usman is a oh, Habanos shit. matchmaker. I think that's the new hashtag that I'm going to put on Usman's stories. 
the Habanos okay. matchmaker connecting the cigar <laughs> world. Yeah. Like a roving ambassador. Yes, which he is. I'm queuing you, Osman, I'm queuing you, ambassador for Habanos Cigar. Yes, sir. He is. He is that. He is well, that. Uh, well, uh, aren't we all? We love the cigars yes. and we just talk about them. Yeah. And, 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 and one of my friends, I mean, uh, he's, by the way, actually, uh, next time he's close by to you, Stephen, I will make you meet him. Uh, he's a friend of mine. Well, Martha, make I mean, you meet him. That sounds like a forceful <laughs> action. Yeah. Well, you know, he goes to Hello's house yeah. of pain. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so, so he's, he's recently moved to the U.S., and uh, oh, wow. in his words, yeah, in, in his words, he always says that if somebody watches us, the way all 8, 10, 12 people of us are sitting around two ashtrays talk, looking at these cigars and talking so beautifully about them and just we can spend Ashtray. five hours, all, 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 yes, ashtrays and all that. So all, all the, all the uh, better half, their spouses, are just gonna go nuts as these guys are completely crazy that they can spend five hours without talking of any other thing mm-hmm. but cigars. So, oh so, yeah, yes, That's this a... this is this is this is a world we live in, and we 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 we, we actually yeah. all of us are ambassadors to connect with each other That's just true. because of a hobby and a passion that we uh, enjoy. Can I give you a can I give you a can I give you a cigar a very very short cigar story that's prompted by yes, one of the things you showed us and I have it on very good authority that this myth is true. Okay. This relates oh, to the EGM it? box that Usman <laughs> pulled out earlier on. I believe well someone has told me that they have been on good authority okay. that the only non-Cuban cigar sold in Cuba is EGM. Really? Wow. Yes. I'm, I'm yes. not sure about and, that, so I can't. Say uh, well, well, there you go. There's the mythic. There's the mythic quality, but this was said the thing. In a the thing. The thing I can confirm. And I can, no, tell, you I and can, I can can... tell you where. And I can tell you where. And I can tell you where. I have been where, told where? that it is sold in the reception. At the Hotel Nacional in Havana. Ooh. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm not... The, well, it's just a story. I'm putting it out there. I can't establish yeah, yeah. whether it's true or not, but I'm putting I will ask Nicola. mythic story. I will, now, that you, now that you've put out the story, I will speak to Nicola and I will reconfirm it. Uh, Nicola Tesla. Nico, no, Nicola, one of the owners of EGM, happens to be a sommelier course mate of mine. We oh, were there you both go. In the same, um, we were both in the same course. The thing that I can confirm for sure is that for the last five years, they're now five years or six years old as a company. Uh, at least in the last three of their anniversaries, they've celebrated their uh, anniversaries in Cuba, in Havana, during the festival, because apparently they launched or the company was formed during <clears throat> the timings when the festival happens at the start of the year. And for the last three okay. years, they celebrate their anniversary, the birthday anniversary of the business every year in Havana. Uh, so that I can surely confirm. And that is why these cigars have been in uh, Cuba. No, they could be in Cuba. For... They could be in Cuba. But the myth goes along the lines of they're the only That's what ones I will have to confirm. That's sold have... in Cuba. So it is perhaps your investigative duty to yes, give me a response as to whether EGM oh, is or isn't the only, uh, incidentally, incidentally, they're Dominican cigars, incidentally. Yes. Yes, yes. Are they retailed? In, I mean, you, there's one thing having them in Cuba. There's nothing retailing them. And I've heard that there's the hey, only ones there are. Nicola, I have been told by a great oh, he's texting him right now so we're gonna Nine get it live on the air we sort of get a live EGM debunk or a live sold apparently cuba yes. at the, the nice thing about a live show national can for you, you for you people that don't this, now, this, could, this could be an exclusive this could be an exclusive this, yeah. this could be it your could first be. exclusive true Stephen. well you know what's really cool well, he should just do this all a box of cigars and we'll all We'll, we'll all That's taste intent. it. The nice thing is, now the question is, we seem to have a lot of people watching the show more on Friday Live than we do on Wednesdays. So mm-hmm. now the question is, do you guys want to do Friday Lives instead of Wednesday? Because we've got to let the fans know. And also, David, our invisible guy, 
has sent up, <laughs> set up, which I think next week will be live, a merch page that you will be able to buy cigar paraphernalia, whether it's mm. mugs, T-shirts, shoes, cutter. I, he's doing a whole thing for cigars. So our fans will be oh, able to buy awesome. cigar stuff from us. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? I know. This is, uh, this is a very, very sort of commercial. I, I felt that this was a far more toned down program. I was trying to bring the tone of the program down. <laughs> I see. I see that. You did. I'm sorry. Um, I'm here. <laughs> um, I, must, such, I tell you. Such, such, such insubordination on your part. You're welcome. Mm. Yes, yeah, I love it. But here's the bit. I think our fans like. I think our fans like the more toned down show because they learn a lot more. They can. They can. Us. They can go and watch someone else's show. This is the show. <laughs> yes, but I'm just saying they learn more about the show. And maybe if Kirby and I become really good friends, we'll have him as a guest one week. I don't know if he'll get up at eight o'clock in the morning and have cigars with us, though. That's a that may be a little too much to ask. You basically wait, wait, want to wait, replace wait. you want to replace the asset of the show. No, <laughs> not at all. That's I just just have him. You do you, do you know Kirby? Let me ask you this: Do you know Kirby? Have you met him? Riza. He has. He has. Riza has. Okay, yes. Riza. Uh, okay. I've, 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 I've actually. Together, you may or may not remember. I've smoked with a very drunk Kirby. On... Oh, really? Yeah, well, in that I, case, I, we're going to have to have Kirby on the show well, and tell the well, drunk stories with Kirby. Well. Raza and Kirby shared an event last year at AJ's 30th it was anniversary. AJ's, it was AJ's event. It was one of the yes, best events AJ's I've event. been to. It's one, easily one of the best events I've been to in London and perhaps one of the best right. events I've been to overall. It was a great event. Mm -hmm. I cool. almost remember being there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, almost. Well, the, almost. There's, this nice. almost, there's this almost because... That in itself is a cigar story. That cigar story long. lasted six and a half hours. Trust well, we should have that. That should be next week's cigar story. Stephen, that story does not last for six and a half hours, let alone six and a half minutes, because someone <laughs> went into yeah. a party drunk on big bottles of beers and then was drunk in half Beer. hour. Or, yes. Or, and then was drunk in half hour on some champagnes. And that is what I hear from his yeah, but too these are sort of, these are those myths. Too yeah, 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 right. yeah. These are sort of like there's a myth. Sort of like this what happened, this what happened. All I remember, so all I remember, all I remember. So this is my so cigar story. Let me give you the cigar story now. Let me give you the cigar okay. story right okay. now. Okay. I oh, was smoking. I the beer. I'm gonna. I'm. 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 I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, say something quite right. unholy for you. Mm -hmm. I hated. Hated the Ramon Alones Private Stock 230 cigar. Oh, was so cedary oh, and bitter damn. that less, I mean, it was just a, you know, more than halfway through, I put it out in someone's coffee. Wow. I love that cigar from that same event which came to me. I've got a photo me? of that cigar put out in someone's coffee. I'll oh, share shit. it. I'll share I, it. In I, fact, I'll just put it up. I can, I can bet, Please. I can bet, I can bet. That was because of all the drinks that you were having, because I smoked. I, I oh yeah, yeah, I smoked the same cigar from that same uh, event that you sent water. me. Yeah, that you sent me, and it was divine. It was creamy like anything, and it smoked like a charm. That's one. And Stephen too, this gentleman who was just saying no, no, I wasn't drunk and all that stuff. He was so drunk that he even lost and left his own goodie bag. There at the event to an extent that he had to go because back. Because I'm not commercial. And, I'm, I'm yeah, not a commercial person. Back. I don't yeah, care for goodies. Yeah. I'm more about the experience of meeting why? fellow cigar why did you uh, go back smokers, to the oh, fraternity. No. <laughs> I'm slightly like more wholesome than you are. Yeah, it's like right. slightly more wholesome. Yeah, with cigar right. bags and goodies. Yeah. In fact, in fact, the next day I was sent on orders to go and pick yeah. up my cigar bag. I was sent yeah. back on orders. Yeah, that's I, funny. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. Well, gentlemen, as always, this has been the best hour of my week. I've you know, other than when I just now you're going to cut me off. <laughs> no, no, you can get going. Still go. I don't care. We can, listen. It was, it's a live show. We'll go as long as you want. <laughs> yeah, he was. So he was. He was, we can, he was we, going to share his story. No. Oh, share your story. I thought that was the story. Share the story. Well, now there's no real just... story. The story was like uh, oh uh, the, event was, the, the event was fabulous. What, actually, what's the name actually, of that? What's the name of your favorite beer, by the way? 
that you and another friend of ours really Kiss love? water? Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. Oh, he's, oh, oh. He's gonna... I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't had that for a long time. It's the Desperado. Uh, yeah, so he was drunk okay. on Desperados. It's just a little bit of tequila in it. Before... Yeah, see, oh, before okay. he reached the event, he was drunk on Desperados. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't have known it to have met me because I was on, I was very well behaved. I was on. Yeah, right. Yeah. As I, I, I I've, am. I've seen quite some self, dancing moves of that event. I've seen quite, some dancing quite moves. Quite self-disciplined of human being. <laughs> you, wait, uh, I'm sorry. You, you dan- You danced. Oh, oh that yeah. Was I did rock did. slightly to yeah. the music, gently swayed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, to be very honest with you, there's one thing I, I, I honestly, yeah. only, I, I'll say this out loud. I don't care how much hate I get for this. Yeah, there's only two oh bloody tracks God. that ever get played at these events. One is Guantanamera, yeah. which is like yeah. a constant rotation on any bloody story you see. <laughs> Guantanamera. Right, right. I'm sick of hearing this song. It's a great song, but I'm sick of hearing it. Uh, a bit like that Kate Bush song, Running Up That Hill, that just went on and on and on and on and, yeah, on, yeah, and yeah. on. And then there's the other one, Chang Chang. Am I right, Osman? Chang Chang? What's the name of the song? Uh, we'll, yes, we'll, Chang put, Chang uh, we'll yeah, get yeah, some links oh, put up and, and people can listen to it. Yeah, These yeah. are two songs. Not because they're bad songs. It's just like they're just relentlessly copied and repeated. It's almost like this is the song you have to put up on the story every single time with a Cuban cigar gotcha. or a Havana. <laughs> and, and, and if anyone ever looks at my stories or if anyone looks at my posts, I go to the music mm-hmm. that I enjoy, and I hope that other people enjoy it as well, to be very honest mm-hmm. with you. Yeah, I go into the sort of jazz and acid jazz and funk and all that kind of thing. Yeah. But that evening, the only thing about that evening, which I won't say is questionable, but yeah, it could be better, right? They could have done some jazz funk. They could have done some house music and et cetera, et cetera. And I recommend that. That's the way of uh, getting the world in, a, in you know, Traveling yeah. the world is through music. Music is a great uh, medium. Cigars, music, good cologne, something mm. nice to eat. I hear it out. You know, men don't. I wear cologne, but men don't wear cologne anymore. And I'm like, why? You have to wear cologne. Yes. That's like a man thing. I agree so with. That. I don't. I'm shocked when men don't wear the cologne. True. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean you yeah. combine That's a good, show. The, the, a really nice cologne with the with the with the aroma of a, a Cuban cigar. Oh. That's the best. That's an aphrodisiac. Set of memories. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah. That's yeah. I I agree with you 100. So it's well, it's could, very we funny. We could do a show on colognes, but the problem is no one can smell these bloody colognes. I watch YouTube stuff about you know, uh, people yeah. say this cologne is in fashion. It's yeah, yeah. kind of pointless. All you see is bottles. Yeah. Uh, to be very honest with you. Yeah. yeah, I agree with you. But I I wear cologne mm. when I go out as a real person. I I I put cologne on. I dress to the nines. Like we're having a dinner tonight with people I've never met. Now my wife set up. So those will be interesting. Um, and he doesn't smoke cigars, but he drinks scotch. And I'm like, yeah, I like you. I like you 50%. And then I found out his, his first name is Paul. And his wife calls him Chef Paul. He said to us last night, I'm marinating the dinner for 24 hours. So right away, he went up a couple notches, even though he doesn't smoke cigars. Because anybody that's marinating something for 24 hours has got to be good. He's I'm assuming it's a small human child. Dedicated. Yeah, he's, uh, it's, I'm excited about this. Yeah, he's I the pig. Excited. He's the pig. Do you know this story? Uh, no. No. The chicken is only involved in laying the eggs, but the pig is dedicated to giving the ham. Oh, very yeah. nice. Very there nice. <laughs> sounds, sounds like a sorority girl I used to know. But yeah, anyway, no, it's very good. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's no, good. To, go ahead. Before, before, before. Are you what? You're cutting us off again? No, go. I'm going to let the show go as long as you want. I'm not saying a word now. You let me know when you want to kill it. Have you got somewhere amazing to go to right now, Stephen? Stephen, this is it. This is my life. Yes. Stephen, can can you can you recall? Somebody was so much rushed like a few hours ago that he wanted to have the show live like three hours ago, (laughs) right? And now he's gotten. Yeah. Now that he's gotten done with all of his work, he's like. Are you cutting yeah, me yeah. again? Are you cutting me again? Yeah. No, no, like, we're staying for the day. To do it. It's like when Usman, there's the UFO <laughs> flying of Usman and it's, like, it's cut out, yeah? Then there's yeah. no issue. But Reza is actually talking. Oh, yeah, well, well, everyone, the show is over. Uh, let's go to the green room. We've got oh, there. Whatever was this Lost Dollar damn. Business Club nonsense, yeah? Lost Dollar Business Club. Yes, That's one, another one of your shows. That's another one of your shows that I actually enjoy watching. Thank you. Okay. Oh, by the way, on that note, uh, yeah. If you haven't already done so, and if you're still here after the after this rant by these three people, <laughs> like, right. comment, and subscribe to subscribe. this channel for for more of the very um, useful, I have to say, very useful cigar tips that come from Usman yes. and from uh, for for Stephen's wonderful eclectic knowledge 
but not for me because I keep getting cut off at the end of my show. Yeah. No, no, we're gonna, no, no, we're not. Go we're gonna go. We're gonna go now. Go keep going. No, no, no. There's no commercial. We're gonna keep going. What do you want to? What do you want to talk about next? So we, I, we do the flavor away of the day. You take it home. Next week. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me, let me bring you back. Now that we were talking a little bit, I mean, a few minutes ago, you guys were mentioning about the colognes and about the perfumes and the scents and all of that and the cigars. I think, I, and I'm going to suggest a topic for next week, <clears throat> and that is sure. a very interesting way. See, a lot of us talk and discuss about, oh, what are the notes that I'm getting from my cigar? Right. right. How do you actually, how do you actually identify? Burnt what caramel. Are the notes? Burnt caramel. <clears throat> yeah, fair enough. See, okay. burnt caramel or. No, something. that's when you don't know what to say. Just say burnt caramel. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> so in that case. So next week, we will talk, at least on the 101 section. I'm getting cherries. We will talk, I'm getting we, apple blossom. Oh, my God. Mine as well. We will, talk, <laughs> we, will talk, we will talk about the flavor profiles that one gets from the cigars. And I will show you how to do it technically and learn it if you do not know, or if Ooh. you're not very good about it. I can actually demonstrate it using a couple of tools that one okay. can buy from the market. And those are some very handy tools if you really want to indulge yourself into learning more about this. Are you saying there's an exact science to this? Because I thought it was all bullshit and nonsense. I thought it's like you just make it up <laughs> as you go along. <laughs> honestly, honestly, <laughs> honestly, honestly, no. honestly. I just thought it's quite fashionable. Ah, oh, this is slightly nutty. Oh, I'm getting some some coffee, roasted coffee. <laughs> uh, right. I, I, but there, but you're saying that there is an exact science to this. Well, there is there is some science to this, of course. That is why the blends are different for anything and everything uh, that we say are cigars. Every brand has a different... leaves at the uh, end of the day. It's dead leaves, oh dead and dying leaves. Steven, Steven, remember the AI yeah. is kicking in. The AI is kicking yeah, in. Yeah, I see the AI. <laughs> Rich is going to deny this all next week. Like when we, Do you remember a few weeks ago when our, when our, when our host, um, the one who keeps saying we're trying to cut him off, that and we never do? And don't forget the word host is one letter away from ghost. Are you trying to get on our good side? Anyway, um, do you remember when our host was giving up cigar smoke because it was cigar oh, yes. smoking was a nasty, nasty habit, and he was sending us all his cigar stuff just to let you know. I did check the mail yesterday. I didn't get anything. I'm just saying because I'm still waiting. So yeah, neither did I. Neither did hating. I. Hashtag neither hating. Did I. <laughs> <laughs> like and I said, just, you... and just to confirm, just to confirm, I did yeah. give up cigar smoking for that day. And actually, that that yeah. that was a very sincere and heartfelt uh, episode. Even though you did substitute me with uh, some sort of AI generated version of me. Wow! Um, Here we go. <laughs> uh, but ultimately, they're just dead and dying leaves with a little bit of oil left in them, and Here they basically go. it's always it's always the same flavor, isn't that right, Usman? What we do is what we do is we no, project that is. we project what we want to taste onto mm. the cigar. Right. That's what we do. Sometimes this one tastes like bubble gum, but right now it does taste of burnt caramel. Oh my god! Well, as I always say, I'm smoking a New World Davidoff, and it's a great smoke because I can smell it. It's beautiful. Uh, dip it I taste like, absolutely dip it nothing. Like every other Davidoff, I, every I, other I don't cigar. See, dip I don't do that. I, I just I, I enjoy the of, I enjoy kind, the smell. I kind of disagree, Reza. On this one, I kind of disagree with you. And why I saw that Ooh. is. In the on the Davidoff, I I understand what you're saying, but in the Davidoffs, uh, the late hour series, and their signature series, the Winston series, or or the 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 white series, the white band and the black band, surely have a distinct flavor profile difference. Yes. If you do not want, if you do not want to uh, agree or admit to a lot of differences amongst them own selves, there is very clearly difference between the black band and the white band one is terrible and one's even... more terrible oh shit oh shit. You know, so much for them sponsoring us and i got a little worried when you start to talk about black and white but now what i understand do I know cigars, about so we're good. Cigars. i've been smoking cigars for 36 <laughs> years yeah. i don't know anything how many wait, wait how many years have you been smoking cigars? 36 years wow and you're only 25 that's amazing i'm that's 25 really... with 27 He's years here. experience of being 25 right, um, I'm well aware. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. But as we always say, cigars really is a brotherhood. So whether you, and next week you'll learn how to uh, uh, taste the notes, games, but it really is games. just, a, 
how to there charge more money yeah. for dead leaves in wooden boxes with paper bands around them. It's just, oh a, my just God. a bloody <laughs> game. Yeah. It's a game. Stephen, Stephen, be sure it's the game that we all off. buy into. It's like money. It's like paper money. It's like the, the, yeah. the I promise to pay the bearer ten pounds. Ten pounds of what? Ten pounds of shit. It's just yeah. a game. It's a complete game. But Steven, I enjoy yeah, the surely game. Surely need to cut him off. We did. We do. I enjoy you. the game. Yeah, <laughs> cut me off again. Again. This is the fifth time the show. Cut me off. <laughs> no, you know these. These are oh, these the are way, the rants that way, become by, the short. By, by, by yeah. the way, by the way, all of that was just a joke. It was just a joke. Mm. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, we all know that. Yeah, we know. Having said that, we want to make sure the fans and, and the sponsors. Yeah. No. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are allow, we are allowing you to say all of this just because it is one day till you become one year more old. So yes. for, for, oh, people, yeah. for, people, for people who don't know or know, it's Raza's birthday tomorrow. So I'm sick and tired. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm, 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 I'm generally, I'm generally sick and tired of eight people sitting around going, oh, what a marvelous cigar. What a wonderful cigar. I'm the idiot oh. in the corner that says, shit. Oh, there we go. Well, there we go. Well, happy go. happy go. birthday to you, my friend. There Look at you. It is go. your birthday. There, there you go. There you go. We're celebrating your birthday. Well, I'm going to tell you now tomorrow because it's your birthday. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm I'm going to go to dinner with a 21 year old to celebrate for you. Anyway, I, I, I'm I, so, I, celebrate. Thank you. Uh, okay, a 21 year old whiskey. Of course. Sure. Let's what go with that. So, what, what of else, course. What you mean? Otherwise, he will be back in the home. I have to see the show. Yeah. I, I have to work next week. Yeah. So now here's my question, gentlemen. Yeah. Are we doing the live yes, show sir. next week on Wednesday or Friday? Because Friday seems like all your Can't fans. Be Wednesday. It's got to be so Friday. Friday it is. Yeah, Friday, is that the new Friday. is that the new live date? Friday? <laughs> Friday is yes, the new sir, Wednesday. Friday, and... Friday is the Friday. new Wednesday. Okay. Stephen, it is Friday and mm. it is going to be a little late. But the reason I will share with you in private. And then That's let me tell you fine. something. Okay. Uh, let me tell you something about yeah. Wednesdays because we started on a Seinfeld note. Let me let me wrap this up on Please. a Seinfeld note. Okay. Oh, Wednesday has no feeling. Do you remember that? Really? Monday has a feeling. Okay. Friday yeah. has a feeling. Saturday has a feeling. Wednesday doesn't really have a feeling, if you know. Do you remember okay. the episode? That's when Newman and Kramer and Seinfeld are doing a stakeout. Vaguely. Vaguely, I watched it, but I don't remember all the shows because some well, of them I've worked people who are and watched. Watching, who are still here and interested, go on YouTube and look right. at Seinfeld. Wednesday has no feeling. Okay, very cool. I'm looking forward. I'm going to look it up now. That's very cool. Well, all right, everybody. So the show now is quiet. So the show now is going to be live on Fridays and rebroadcasted on Saturday morning. So if you miss it on Friday, you can catch it. And if you're a cigar lounge and Fridays, why you're not showing it live and asking us questions, what the hell is your problem? So there you go. Yeah. So there you go. Look at his little, his little oh, nub. Wow. And now I'm talking yeah. about the cigar. So, so. <laughs> well, uh, Stephen, are you going to cut me off a yeah. sixth time now? <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying a word. Yes, sir. Here, I'm going to no, give you a close. Actually. I'm giving you. A, I'm going to give you a close up. I'm not saying a word. There you go. All you. So there you have it. Oh so. yes. <laughs> so, but as I was going to say earlier, it is my. This is my favorite. Apparently, seven hours of my day on a Friday or any day that I get to spend with you, gentlemen. Um, and I always look forward Thank to this. So now that's on Friday, it's even more exciting because now I get to have cigars yes. with my two mates on Fridays. Start the weekend right. And 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 the best part for me is. It will actually be the start of the weekend because when the time we go live is when I come back right. from office. So that is the start of my weekend. I'm good with that. And all their fans in Pakistan joined us today so they can enjoy yes, the weekend sir. as well. And our fans in Dubai. Absolutely. We have fans in Dubai that I know of. We have Qatar, Oman, um, the, UA, uh, the UAE, the East, all yeah. over, I want to Saudi give, Arabia. I want, to give, I want to give a shout out. Sure. I want to give a shout out to the Chinese audience. Now, I wish I could do that in Chinese, oh. right? But ah. I do know two words, if not, it will actually is one word of Chinese now. Say say, yeah. which means thank you. Just... Oh, say say, thank you, yes. Oh. To our Chinese fans. Thank what? you. Yeah. Yeah. Chinese fans. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I've been encountering more and more uh, cigar smokers in London from the Chinese community. And I'm kind Very of nice. enjoying their company because they tend to smoke all around the block. Um, right, right. 
But uh, this is for China. Very cool. Well, <laughs> do you tell them to watch the show? Do you happen to say you should watch me on YouTube and watch the show? Do you tell them? I, 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 yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah, <laughs> sure you do. Um, yeah, yeah. Can I also give? Uh, can I give? Can I? Can I give? A, can, can I give also a shout out to the the former and next pres president of Hamel? Uh, Hamel Harris, the, President of, Harris, of, yes, of the USA. President Harris. Let yeah, me let me carry on the meme. Let me carry on the meme that I've been seeing on uh, Instagram on YouTube for the past day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? That's yep. That that is true. The, I'm it's assuming you, you didn't, Mr. Trump. It's you. It's you. I'm I'm assuming I'm assuming then you didn't see the debate. So uh, yeah. Well, there was a lot of people, so it was like a mass debate. There was two people in the debate. And uh, that was it. And the uh, live oh, debate with Trump and Harris. Did you miss? Did you miss that debate? And and, and now you're going to cut the show just when I'm warming up. Now you're going to cut. The, no, gonna, no, oh, please no, keep no, on. No, I'm no, not no, cutting no, anything, no, dude. I've go got. I have two. I have two hours. I, I, no, 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 no. The, the, the I have two hours. I, got, I have. Oh, I have. I have. We had a wonderful time, gentlemen. I have two hours left. I have two hours left. You keep going. I'm good. The fans will watch it. They can, when the reason we'll timestamp it is the fans can pick what they like. I don't know. You're kind of like, like you're, you're basically taking the the air out of me on this one. You're kind of sort of like winding down. Resolus, why? I can see the sort of the, the sort of like the director is standing in front of you and the camera going. No, no, I'm good. He's doing this. He's going stretch, stretch, stretch. <laughs> if you need to, if you want us to say goodbye to the fans, say goodbye, and we'll run the end really credits. I don't want to say goodbye. I want to no, say don't say keep going. Years. Oh, good. Well, then we'll stay. So, what do you want to talk about next? Right. <laughs> He's like, yeah. cut the show, damn it! Uh, yeah. Everybody, thank you yeah. for watching. Yeah. It's always <laughs> a pleasure to see you. Everybody, thank you for watching. All right, fine. You, you, you're ready. You end the show. Go blank, black. No, 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 no. no. I'm gonna leave it. Bye. <laughs> Reza, shut up. Bye. All right. Everybody, <laughs> thank. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this one. Osman's sitting there. Osman's sitting there. He wanted to go to the toilet 30 minutes ago. He's waiting. I know. He wants to go to the loo. Dying to go to the toilet. He's dying. to do today. He's got things to do today. He's got places to go. People to go. See, smoke more cigar. Wind it up. Wind up. Wind up. Is it texting away to Stephen? Yeah. Wind the show. Wind the fucking show up now. Just go blank. <laughs> yeah. He's like, why are we stuck? He says, says we were supposed says to end person, four hours ago. So says, says, says the person who's actually gonna go out and celebrate his pre-birthday as his birthday. Both of us are gonna be here. Yeah, I thought yeah. this was it. This was a celebration. I've got no friends. This is it. I'm sorry. This is oh it. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. This oh. my is friend, happy it. Birthday. Friends. Who wants more friends? I want less friends. Sort of more okay. focused energy. More focused energy. Instead of spreading okay. it out thin. To fewer people. Okay. Well, you have it. Here we are. Happy birthday. The, again, I yes. d- detect this winding down thing. The happy, bu- oh, happy birthday. And on that note, let's no, go. No, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. Finish the show. We're fine. Finish we're finishing finishing the, the show. show. All right. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And if go. you want to catch same us routine. on. Same routine. There we go. Go, go. All right. You know what? Saturday, there you Saturday, go. Saturday.